The first of these uh, goho, or the first of the kamai, will be hira no kamai. So from here, it's a, it's a rather simple technique, but don't be fooled. Uh, there can be some, there's a lot of common mistakes that are made. So the hands are at the side of the hips, the knees are bent, the back is straight, and the shoulders are back. Facing this direction, knees are bent slightly, hands are on the hips, and the knees are bent. Next is Hira Ichimonji no Kamai. Uh, very similar to the other Ryuha, the feet are out at a 45 degree angle and there's a slight bend into the knees. The hands are held out at an eye and ear height and the palms are open. Facing this direction. Now, if I look over my right shoulder, my hand should be splitting the eyes uh, and at the, or at the eye level to my opponent. So you don't want to have your hands in this, at this height, nor do you want to have your hands up like this. This is the correct position. Now let's just uh, recall that the Dakin Taijutsu from Kukishin Ryu is influenced by uh, the movements that were necessary when wearing Yoroi or armor. So a lot of this stuff is specific to load-bearing movement. Uh, the yoroi has a kote or a wrist guards and hand plates here, which means that the closing of the hand to a, a complete uh, conventional fist or fudoken was oftentimes limited. So the hands could only close to this, uh, to this position. So moving in and out of your kamai with the hands in a shikan ken uh, is also acceptable and practiced. The next kamai in the first part of the goho is segan no kamai. From here, stepping forward with the left foot, dropping the hips deeply, uh, with the left hand extended straight, splitting the eyes uh, of your opponent or wherever your intentions are in front of you. My right hand goes to the crook of my right hip. When you're doing this, you want to make sure that the hand is soft, as though you're holding it, uh, an egg. So if you squeeze too hard with your fist, the egg's going to break. Of course, if you uh, lessen the grip, uh, you're going to drop the egg. So from here, all of the movement is at once. Please make sure that when you're doing this, you're working hard at getting the hips low. And uh, I like to see in this dojo, uh, hips that are almost parallel to the ground. So with these fundamentals, uh, with this basic movement here, as you drop your hips, you want to have your hips almost in line with the ground. Also, the position of the feet are important. The heels are on the same line. This is not acceptable. The heels are on the same line. The right foot is pointed at a 45 degree angle back. And then your hand is at the crook of your hip. Now the direction of your head is important. I'm facing this direction. These principles are uh, pretty much transcend all of the kamai from the different ryuha, but it's uh, very important specifically for Sagan no kamai right now, so that's why I'm talking about it here. But as I drop, you can see that my nose is on the same line with my lead leg. This is not acceptable, where the nose is pointing off at an angle, but my eyes are at a different line in the direction of my head. So you want to make sure that everything is in the direction of your intention. Okay, now let's look at a couple of uh, key exercises that I want you guys to be training uh, with these different kamai. So I'm going to have uh, uh, Dan and Casey come on out. So Casey will be over here, Dan over here. So Casey is going to be the uke. He's going to start each one of the techniques just from Sagan. And we're just going to look at different basic strikes uh, from our docking and or striking basics. He's going to be using this exercise to practice his basic strikes. Dan's going to be uh, moving in and out of the kamai uh, accordingly. So uh, first exercise, and again, train these uh, and, and vary them up with the basic, uh, with the docking and or the striking basics. Punches to the head, punches to the stomach, kicks to the chest, kicks to the leg. Uh, however, uh, you know, you want to make them in order, but my recommendation is to start off 
with a particular sequence to become comfortable with the kamae. Then from there, graduate forward into uh, spontaneous training where the uke is going to be striking and the tori does not know what to expect. Don't start off with that. Don't uh, become a victim of the myth that you have to pressure cook these techniques. It's not correct. You have to develop muscle memory. You have to develop an understanding of the kinetics of the movement. You have to understand the balance, the posture, as well as the intention of each kamae. We're going to get into that a little bit later. So right now we're going to do Casey's. We're going to practice some Seigan no kamae. Uh, just Fudo Kenski. Dan, you're going to demonstrate just the blocking uh, of uh, the punch just from Hiro no Kamai. Let's start with that, okay? okay. So, Kamai. And back. And then on the opposite side, please. Okay. And back. Okay? And now we're going to practice uh, from Hiro no Kamai, a lower block, so we'll use a kick. Right. And opposite side. Right. Right. Arigatou Okay, so that's an example of uh, how we can be training uh, moving uh, in and out of the comma in a very, very basic form. There's one other thing I want, I want you to notice. I'm going to ask Dan to assume Sega no Kamai. Kamai. If you notice, I'm going to ask Dan to hold this posture. If you notice when Dan did this, there was not a lot of excessive movement. In other words, he wasn't going to the Kamai and he wasn't you know, adjusting himself and settling into the Kamai. That is very incorrect. You need to train these positions so that you can go from one immediately to the other without excessive movement. You need to be able to change your intention of the posture, meaning your actual mental awareness uh, in what, um, you know, what's going on inside your, uh, inside your intent. Uh, you need to be able to change that like a, the flick of a switch. So excessive movement and adjusting yourself and all that. That's very amateur. You need to start to really work on that in all of your kamae and all of your yuha. I, I'm huge on that. So please, I'd like you to be as well. Thank you, Dan. Right? All right, guys, thanks a lot. Right. Okay, next week we're going to be working on the second part of the Dokken Taijutsu Goho. Uh, and that's it. If you guys have any questions, again, uh, take it to the forum or shoot me an email.